Welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Captain George's, which is in Williamsburg, Virginia. We're going to take a look around to see exactly what you can expect and also to answer those two big questions. Is it worth your time and your money to go there? Now, the first thing we're going to look at here is a parking lot, which is huge. You're not going to run into any problems. And the best thing about the parking is that it is 100% free. Now, one thing that's unique about this Captain George's is the environment. It's in Williamsburg, so it has that historic 18th century look to the building and it has a beautiful garden area. So if you're into uh, this type of stuff, you're going to really enjoy coming to Captain George's here. My big recommendation to you for coming here is to call ahead. Try to make a reservation. Sometimes because you're so busy, they don't take reservations, but if you can get here early, maybe an hour before you wanna to start to eat, that's a good idea because sometimes there is a line. I am going to walk you through the entire process as if you've never been here before. And uh, once your table is ready, a waiter will come out, like a hostess will come out and they will take you to your table and they will seat you and then the waiter will come by and they will uh, you know, give you the go ahead to go ahead and eat. So the great thing about coming here is that unlike a restaurant where you have to come and sit and maybe wait for 20, 30 minutes for your food to get here, once you get let in, pretty much you sit down and you can get started right away. What I'm pointing out right here in these images are the decor. It looks like a ship and the body of the ship is the food. And the big attraction, of course, is the food. And there is tons of it. And if you're not you know, familiar with Captain George, seafood is the, the word of the day. You know, they have crab legs, all you can eat crab legs, uh, a variety of different shrimp, fish. And if you're not a seafood lover, that's okay because they have a lot of different things in the menu. We'll go over that in a little bit. But just looking around the restaurant, you can see that it is absolutely huge. This restaurant in particular, it seats about 800 people. So there's tons of food here, food for every different type of palate. Uh, so if you are, uh, you know, you're not going to be disappointed, not only on the quantity, but on the quality of the food. There are several Captain George's on the East Coast, and I've been to several of them. Um, they're about the same. I don't think any one is better than the other. You know, some people may say the one in Myrtle Beach is better than Williamsburg, but for me, um, they're just about all the same when it comes to quality of food. And the food is pretty good. It's gonna cost you $50 for the all-you-can-eat buffet. And the big thing about the buffet that people, you know, really clamor over, and that is going to be the crab legs. And, uh, on, you know, you can't take, it's unlimited. You can take as much as you can eat, but they don't let you serve it. You, there's a server there who serves the crab legs for you, but it really um, is the big draw, is the crab legs and the, and the other seafood. But overall, the food is great. Again, the big draw here is the food, but just keep in mind that this is mass produced food. So you're gonna have varying degrees of quality in whatever you choose. If you are a foodie or very particular about what you eat, then Captain George, quite frankly, is just not gonna live up to your expectations. However, if you have an open mind uh, and you're either a vegetarian or you want stuff that's gluten-free, uh, if you just wanna eat salads and stuff like that, they have uh, enough food variety to really suit any palate. Another great reason for coming to Captain George, which is an all-you-can-eat buffet, is that you can try stuff that you ordinarily wouldn't maybe try. And if you like it, great. If not, leave it on your plate. No one has ever chastised me for leaving food on my plate. It's not a big deal. Go back and get some more. Uh, it's a really fun, uh, southern type uh, feel of environment. Uh, some people say that if you're in the area, coming to Captain George is an absolute must. If you love dessert, they have a well-stocked dessert buffet. Uh, overall, if you uh, love food, if you wanna try something new, and they have alcohol here too as well, then you're not going to go wrong going to Captain George.
If you wanna drink something other than water with your meal, it's going to be an extra two to five dollars depending on what you get because sodas and juice are not included. In addition to not including drinks, your $50 buffet does not include a tip. So be prepared to pay an extra 10 to 15% to the host and to the waiter.